Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your April 2018 reading. I need you guys to really understand that this reading is for April. It's being recorded in March. It may resonate in March. It may resonate in April. It may resonate in May. Time is fluid, okay? So what I'd like you to do is watch this reading in April, okay? Just, I mean, that's what it's for. It's for the month of April. Generally, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. There's some sort of, there's a lack of self-love and not focusing on the future, okay? This right here, right away, these fell out, okay? You may be smothering yourself, okay? You're not nurturing yourself like you need to. There's a lack of self-love and you're staying stuck. In the past, you're not focusing on the future. You should be focusing on the future at this time. You may be feeling very, um, there's no growth. There's no growth going on because you're not allowing it. You're not. You're not moving on from a situation. Yeah, it says you're not happy being single. I don't want to be single. I don't want to be on my own. And I understand that. You want a relationship, but you... For a new relationship to come in, and this must be for singles, this part, if you want a new relationship to come in, you have to love yourself first. You have to be very happy with where you're at. You have to be single and love it before a new relationship is going to come in. If you're feeling sorry for yourself and you're down in the dumps and you're not taking care of yourself and you're feeling very ungrateful, then don't expect it to happen. It looks like your ships aren't coming in in regards to love because of your own mentality. Okay? Yeah, you're focusing on the past. And you know, I know this sounds like a broken record, but the only person that can change your energy is you. You guys can't expect a tarot reader to pick up better energy if it's not what's going on inside of you. Okay? And, and you know, if it's deep, deep down, it's still going on. You can't, you can't pretend to the universe. If you're still bitter and angry about a past relationship, but you say you're over it, but you're still holding anger and resentment, then you're not over it. You need to release but I don't think you you want to. I don't think you want to work on releasing. I really don't. You're letting these the these uh, lies. You know you're le letting yourself be controlled by the past. By you're letting yourself be controlled by this loss. By this disappointment that you've been through. You're not allowing growth. That's the first card that came out. And I'm not going to pretty this up for you. So if you guys have ears that can't hear it, you should probably hip, get out of here. For those of you that really want to go through a transformation and you really want to change, you're, you're going to have to have faith. You're going to have to believe in yourself. Okay? You have to believe in yourself. You know, you deserve more than this, right? You deserve more than this. No communication, no contact. 
no love. You deserve more than that, right? And it's about you. This is about give and take, okay? You, and like I started this reading out, you have to give to the situation. You have to give to growth. These are now mirroring each other. If you want things to change in your life, you have to take action, okay? You can't expect me to pick up new energies if that's not what you're putting out. And you can't lie to the universe. The universe feels your energies, all right? There's a lot of uh, feeling no energy, no passion, no life, no desire. You have no desires to move on from this situation. Really, really. And I will get a comment from somebody, oh yes, I've moved on. Okay. Why do all the other readings say that you haven't? The majority. Now, this reading may not be for you, okay? If you are living in a happily ever after situation, then this reading isn't for you. But I feel like it's time for you guys to accept the situation. Believe in yourself. Follow your own path. Deepen your spiritual practice. And remove the tension that you have been hanging on to. It's like you've been playing games. You've been going back and forth with this situation, back and forth. So yeah, at times, you're over it. This is what this is. This is tug of war. At certain times, yep, I'm over. I'm never going back. I'm done. But the next day or the next minute, I can't get over this. And that is what's going on here. You're playing tug of war with your thoughts, your desires. And it needs to stop. You need to cut the rope so that you can't play anymore. Okay? I know that you have been reluctant, but as soon as you really, really, really let these power struggles, fives are power struggles, you let these power struggles go, you will feel almost immediate relief, okay? It's time to really, really let something end once and for all with a death card so that you can begin again. But you're going to have to let go. You're going to have to compromise. You're going to have to stop. Stop communicating as well. This is no more communication. Whoever this is with that you want to love that isn't loving you back, the communication needs to stop. Stop communicating with this person that is lying to you. Okay? There's somebody that is lying to you and making you feeling very unhappy like you're, you're unworthy. Making you feel like you're down, you're not good enough. That's what's happening here. It's making you, it's bringing you down. You are communicating with somebody, whether it's telepathically or through text message or whatever. And this is all a lie. It's never going to come in. Your ships are never going to come in in this arena. Okay. I think there's a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-esteem that is keeping you stuck. Okay? It is. And it feels like you have your all of your energy is gone at this point. Your energy has been totally diminished. Because of this disappointment and your inability to nurture yourself and love yourself enough to move on from it. Yeah, it's time to mend those wounds. You have to let go of this sorrow, this grief that you've been going through. You have to. Many of you have been involved in a third party situation. 
and things are not going to change. This person is not going to come around in your favor. They're never going to head in your direction. And it's time to give up. It's that is it is time to give up and back down. Because there's no there's no forward movement here. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen in your favor. With the Wheel of Fortune reversed, it's not going to happen. You can't control the situation. It's not your destiny to wait for the rest of your life for this person that is never coming. It's time to stop procrastinating. Take the blindfold off, Libra. Take the blindfold off, please. Believe me, I don't want to keep giving you this message. I do not. Stop turning a blind eye to the truth. It's time to sever these ties, to cut the cords. Because there's no victory in success. This is for April. This has been going on for way, way, way too long. And I feel like you guys have gone, you feel like you're down in the dumps. You look like you're down in the dumps. Okay, I'm just telling you what I see. It shows. Okay, it does. <laughs> it shows. Very miserable. But it's not my fault. It's yours. You are refusing to accept the truth. And this is the same old message. And to the person that's going to write, this is getting old, you are right. It is getting old. I am sick of it. It is getting old. Same old story. This is getting old. You always tell the same story. Well, honey, this ain't my story. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord, that this is not my story. Yeah, withdrawn, miserable, cold, unhappy. It's time to let go. It's time to let go of this. It's time to stop losing sleep over something that isn't destined to be. You're refu Nines are closure. These are both reversed. You're refusing to close the door. That has to be closed. And here's this one. You, it is absolutely time to give up on this situation. And they're all reversed. All three of them. Because you're refusing to close the door. Nines are closure. They are. And you are refusing to follow your own destiny. And it does. And there's no success here because you aren't taking the steps. Nothing I can do about it. I mean, I can't change this. It's time to go after what you deserve. Okay? You give what you get. And that's what this reading is about as well. You are getting what you give right now. If you aren't giving in, letting go of this situation, then this is what you're going to get from me. So if you don't let go of whatever this karmic situation is if you don't let go of it and it continues to make you feel like shit and unworthy and unhappy ungrateful then that's that's all that I can give you I can't change the energy you can I can't the other readings aren't like this 
Time and time again, Libras is like this. I have several Libras in my life, several. I don't want to give them this reading. But I'm not the one with the blindfold on. I'm not the one pretending. I'm not the one procrastinating. I'm not the one stalling. I'm not the one denying the truth. You are. I feel like this is a reading for singles. If it applies to couples, so be it. Whatever it is, somebody is smothering. Somebody is feeling very low self-esteem, self-worth. Waiting for something to happen that is never going to happen. There's no success and victory here. It's time to mend these old wounds. And give up on a situation that is dead. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Can you do it? New romance. N-E-W. New romance. If you stay focused on the past and the negative state of mind, you're going nowhere. Positive thinking. You have to think positive and you have to think towards the future, but you're not. You're still concentrating on the past. It's evident. It's evident that you are. The situation involves marriage. Maybe you're, maybe you're married to somebody. Maybe you were hoping to get married to somebody. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like that card is saying, if you think it's not over, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person, if they'll even communicate with you. And I don't mean via text. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation face-to-face. -face. And if you, this person allows you to have a face-to-face -face conversation with them, then, hey, that's great. If they don't, then you've got a problem. Big one. It's really time to let go. If you can't go and talk to this person face to face, it's definitely over. If you can, this is saying, do it. Do it. Go have a heart to heart conversation with this person. And at that time, you will know your answer. And if you're watching this right now and you're saying, I'm not, to yourself, not to me, of course, because I'm thinking you don't want to admit it. No, it's never going to work out. He's He or she isn't going to ever leave that situation or they're not going to give me what I want. Then that's your inner guide that you've been ignoring. Okay? Can you go have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person? Face-to-face? -face? Not over the phone. Because a heart-to-heart -heart conversation is face-to-face. -face. And will you like the answer that they give you? If the answer is no, then you're wasting your time. Anybody that is meant to be in your life is open and available for you at any time. And if you're dealing with somebody that is not open and available to you at any time, you have a bigger issue. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. That's what you think, right? That's what's holding you back. 
This is the problem. And many of you probably laughed because you think that you know. You think that you, that's why I'm holding on. I'm holding on from, for this fantasy. I'm holding on for this fantasy that somebody wrote about 20 years ago or 10 years ago. Holding out. I'm going to die alone waiting for this person that I think is the one. You're turning a blind eye to the truth. This person that you are holding on to is not the one. It's not the one. But you think it is. You think it is. That's what's going on here. There's no success here. There's The wheel's not spinning in your favor. There's ungratefulness. There's a lack of nurturing. There's a lack of growth. It's time to mend these own wounds and focus on the future, not the past. It's time to have faith. It's time to listen to your inner guide. Somebody is feeling very down, um, not looking good, not feeling good, a lack of self-esteem, a lack of self-worth, fighting with themselves. Deserving a whole lot more. But they have it in their head that this person is the one. It's time for you to believe in yourself. It is. It's time for you to relight your fire. And not hold out for somebody that you can't even talk to. If you can go to this person right now. And they're available. They're not with another person. Then it could be the one. But if you can't, then the chances are very slim. It's not, it's not true. It's not true. But you think it is. And that's a really sad situation. Forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Up here, I said smothering. It is. It is. It's true. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. It's the absolute truth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful. And it has the capacity to heal and transform. And this is what needs to happen. Because the death card is under here. It's time for a transformation. But you must release the past. And let yourself mend from these old wounds and stop the communication telepathically and formally with this person that is never going to be. It's hindering your growth. This is hindering your growth. And the one is in the future. You do have somebody else in the future that could lead to marriage. But because you think it's the wrong one, there's no forward movement. I feel like there's no success, there's no victory because you are focused on the past. There's, there was a third party situation for many of you. And I don't think you can even go to this person I'm talking about because they're involved with somebody else. If you're in a coupled relationship, I feel like there's somebody else as well. I do. I think there's new romance that is waiting for you, okay? Because this is new romance, and it could lead to wedding. And this is the person that you're destined to be with, but you're blocking destiny by concentrating on somebody you can't even talk to.
So Libra, I know this isn't what you want to hear, but like I said, the only people that can change the energy is you, not me. I feel that you are in a situation that where there's no growth and no happiness. And like I said, it's about the spiritual growth. Now this card came out. You guys are, are it's being seen. Other people can see it. They can see your unhappiness. They can, they can see it. They can feel it. You don't look happy. And if you don't look happy, you're not feeling happy and you're not growing spiritually. You have to, when you're growing spiritually, you're smiling, you're happy, you accept the changes, you're grateful. You're grateful for the challenges. This is being very ungrateful and resentful. So if you are pretending that something is going to happen, if you are pretending that somebody is going to come back, it's a true fantasy. I'm sorry. I can't change it. Only you can. And this person isn't coming back. It's time for you to move on. This person is not coming back. Death. It's over. Take the blindfold off and accept the truth. This doesn't have to be lovers. It could be anything. It could be a family member that's walked out on you. It could be a child. It could be a parent. Somebody has left and they're not coming back. Talk to you later.